Hi everyone, and thanks a lot for taking the time to stop back by and join us here on my YouTube channel. My name is Rick Conti. I'm proud to be a National Corvette Sales Representative. I like to be that voice for you guys within the Corvette community. Hey, I'm a fan, I'm an enthusiast. I'm also fortunate to be a retailer. So on my YouTube channel, I kind of give you a little different perspective on not only the car, but the marketplace. And I love to share the stories about you, about your cars. That's what we do on this channel. Plus, once in a while, we're a little silly. We have a lot of fun. And today, once again, something a little different. This one is going to be yet on point, all relative to Corvette. But this one is going to be dedicated for the kids. Maybe it's little kids. Maybe it's your grandkids. Maybe it's for us big kids. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to the vlog. All right, gang, before we get into today's vlog, yeah, I want to give you a little teaser on a future vlog. That way you do hit the subscribe button, you hit the bell notification, and we see you back over and over again. It's great to have you here. I was moving a C6 Corvette the other day on the lot, and it reminded me of something, something that has changed from that car into C7. So if you're into a C7 Corvette, 14 or newer, uh, you've probably thought about doing this. And you've probably thought, what happens if I do this when I'm in the car? Well, I'm going to do that in a future vlog, so stay tuned. You know, so for today's vlog, it's kind of a uh, vlog extra, if you will. I was in my basement last night, still going through some stuff from our previous moves and getting stuff out of boxes and putting it in bins and consolidating and throwing out stuff and wondering why I still have this stuff. I mean, oh, it's a lot of work. Man, is that a lot of work. But I found this book that I bought the kids a long time ago, Vinny the Vet. I bought it at the National Corvette Museum. And today, gather around, get your blankets, get the popcorn. I'm going to read and share with you today, Vinny the Vet on the vlog. Vinny the Vet was about to burst with excitement. He had just had all of his parts assembled, and a cute little girl with pigtails named Katie was the lucky one to sit in his seat and press the magic button that started his engine and made him come to life. This is how new Corvettes are born in Bowling Green, Kentucky. He knew this was the day he would get to go across the street to the National Corvette Museum and meet his new parents. Vinny knew from listening to all the other cars in the plant that before he would get to meet his new parents, he would have to be placed on a transport truck and taken to the museum. Finally, it was his turn to be driven onto the truck. It was scary being on the truck with the other cars. There were no sides, and Vinny was high in the air. The driver got into the cab and pulled out of the parking lot. Oh no! Just as the truck left, Vinny rolled off the back into the gooey mud on the side of the road. Vinny yelled and yelled, but no one could hear him. The truck pulled away, and there was Vinny, sitting in the mud, not knowing what to do. How was he going to get to the museum to meet his new parents? Vinny sat there for a long time. Vinny was just about to cry when all at once he could see a beautiful car coming around the corner, going very, very fast. Vinny started to honk his horn and blink his headlights and hope that the car would stop and help him. Just as the sleek car came close to him, it slowed down and stopped next to him. Don't cry, little vet, said Sally Stingray. I'll be glad to help you pull out of the mud. Sally inched close with her little car, popped open her trunk, and threw out a hook to Vinny. After they were attached, Sally very gently pulled him out. Thank you, exclaimed Vinny. Now I can get to the museum and meet my new parents. Now he was on his way. The other cars had told him, just follow the road around to the light, go across to the big yellow building with a tall red spire. He knew he was all muddy, but the nice people there would clean him up, and he would get to be on display in the museum until his wonderful new parents came to pick him up. Now Vinny could see the red spire. He was almost there. Just as he was crossing the street, his engine started to sputter and his wheels slowed down. He was out of gas. What was he going to do now? Just about that time, Vinny thought he would never be able to get there. Along came Roger Racer. He was on the way to the museum to be on display because he was a famous race car. Roger saw Vinny and knew he was in trouble. Don't worry, little vet. I'm going to help you out. Roger pulled up behind Vinny and started pushing him down the road, into the gate, and all the way to the museum. 
There waiting for him was David the detail guy, who would clean him up and make sure he was perfect and ready to go to his new home with his new mom and dad. The next day, he was sitting with his paint sparkling and his headlights shining, waiting to be delivered to his new parents. Into the museum walked the proud new mom and dad. They had brought his new license plate and quickly learned all about his parts and the best way to take care of them. Later that day, Vinny and his new family drove out of the parking lot and were on their way to their new home. As they were leaving, Vinny turned around with a blink of his taillight and a wave of his tire. He knew that he had made a lot of great friends, and he knew he would return one day to visit the National Corvette Museum. What's that? <laughs> I was wondering if you got the Sanford and Son truck. <laughs> hey, you're already used. You're used to being tortured. Why not a little bit longer? <laughs> I am ready to stop dreaming and start driving. Oh, I love it! I love it! Oh, you're the best. I am. You're the best. Hey, I'm gonna text you some pictures here in a minute.